Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of the Learning Layer series. This is a direct continuation of where we left off in part 1, so if you haven't seen part 1 of the Learning Layer series, I suggest watching that first and then coming back to this video. In this Learning Layers part 2 video, I'll be going over different features of layers, specifically these three, and what they do. Here's my line art. I'm going to zoom in because I want a better view of the bow. As you can see, the pink looks kind of flat and boring. So to spice things up, I'm going to shade her bow to create some sort of dimension. Clicking on Protect Alpha prevents previously unpainted areas from being painted on. Since I colored her ribbon pink and then clicked Protect Alpha, this means I can only color on her pink ribbon. To demonstrate, I'm going to go over to the color wheel and choose a darker pink shade. As you can see, I can only paint on the pink part. This is useful because it can help you isolate and paint within a certain area. However, I would only use this if I'm sure I won't be doing anything too complicated with painting, or if I'm too lazy to make another layer and use clipping. Now, I'm going to go ahead, undo my strokes, and uncheck Protect Alpha, and then create another layer. Clipping is similar to Protect Alpha, except that it involves two layers. The top layer can only be painted in areas where something has been painted on in the layer below it. So, what I mean by that, I'm going to clip layer 3 to layer 2 by checking the clipping box. Now, I can only paint where I previously painted on. I prefer clipping instead of protect alpha because it doesn't change my base color. If I don't like what I painted on, I don't have to press the undo button 20 times or refine the base color in order to paint over what I didn't like in the layer. Clipping is mess free and hassle free. 90% of the time I use clipping over protect alpha. Moving on, if you check mark here, it means you lock this layer. Locking a layer means the layer cannot be edited at all. It's great if you know you are completely done with this layer and don't want to make any more changes. Alright, this is the end of part 2. In my next video, I'll be uploading a part 3 on the different types of layers in Medibang. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more videos or find these videos helpful. Feel free to also leave me comments in the comment section if you have any questions.